r slash ask reddit what is the butterfly effect event of your life years ago my minecraft buddy told me to download skype so i did i placed my location to micronesia just because it sounded random and my brother saw that and laughed wtf is micronesia he did google search and got interested in that place Maybe year after that he booked flight to Micronesian Islands where he met girl who was also Finnish like what are the odds? After that they straighted dating and two years ago they got married. I don't remember that Minecraft friend's name anymore but Reddit is a wonderful place I had this same name back then if you recognize this PM me. Tuesday evening. I'm a lazy student that was actually heading to bed when one of my best friends hit me up with a text. Asking me to come to our favorite bar. At the time it was a rule that you had to come if being asked. So I got out of bed and went down there. Skip a few hours ahead I'm in the bar. Chatting with my friend. This cute curly haired girl comes up to us out of nowhere. Asking us if one of us wants to dance. We decide to do rock. Paper. Scissors for who should go. The loser should go. She didn't notice us saying that. Luckily. I lost. Skip 15 years ahead. Here I am, living in a nice house, three kids, one of them sadly not here anymore, but that's another story, another butterfly effect, and a cute curly haired woman as my wife, life man, edit, Ro. I just woke up and then this, thanks for replies, the curly haired, sorry for the confusion, is sleeping, both kids are awake, also gold, Ro. my first, I'm grateful, thanks mystery person, Edit 2. My son died shortly after being born. To this day we still don't know why. His lungs never worked even though a lot of doctors were present quite quickly. It changed everything. Thanks for asking all of you. I appreciate it. It's not a secret and something to hide or be ashamed of. Deciding to work out with my friend at the gym one day my senior year of college. My friend's normal gym partner couldn't go with him so he asked me. And I decided to go. We were talking about jobs for after we graduate, and he mentioned how in his future he'd like to maybe work in Europe at some point. That thought had never even crossed my mind before. But when I got home I thought that also may be an interesting idea. I looked up popular jobs abroad, and decided to apply for a job as an English language assistant in Spain. The program that I had applied for had their deadline that day that I had went to the gym, was accepted, ended up loving the job. And I am still living in Spain two years later. Don't know what I'd be doing if I had never said yes to going to the gym that day with my friend. I'm half Portuguese and can speak Spanish and Portuguese well. I've been wanting to move to Europe after school as well and get some experience. How hard was it to leave friends and family here? I'll have family in Portugal or in Paris depending where I go. But it's different. So much of life is here in the US that lately I've been wondering if it's worth it. Just wondering how you dealt with that when you made the choice? Ironically applying for a graduate program and stumbling into the wrong interview room. I was a straight A student in high school. Working my butt off. Studying several languages and taking extra courses. With the aim of getting into a prestigious university. Studying the field. Which I was so passionate about. I got in there. But slipped into depression. Failed so many courses that I almost got expelled. And got a burnout trying to repeat all failed exams. Worsening my health even further. I dropped out. Lost my job. My family cut me off financially. I lived with a friend until another uni with a really bad reputation finally accepted me to let me continue my studies. The depression got worse. I was suicidal. Living from one minimum wage temp job to another. Regularly dumpster diving behind the supermarket I sometimes filled the shelves in. I eventually graduated with almost the worst possible passing GPA, and applied for graduate studies. As a bachelor's degree in my field is basically worthless on the job market. 28 applications were rejected on the spot, until a prestigious university invited me to their assessment center. I originally applied ironically, as I was in the flow and thought a, hey, what the heck. I was baffled. But immediately scraped together my money to buy a ticket for the 8 hour train ride. Slept in the central station hall. And went to the assessment center. Having had a rough night and a long trip. I was exhausted and in my tired state. Went to the wrong interview room. The lady in there firmly asked who I was before I could turn around. And it turned out that she was the director of the program I was applying for. 
She told me to take a seat and interviewed me on the spot. She pulled up my CV from the database, briefly commented on my formerly assigned interviewer being a dong, and then just plainly asked me what happened. I told her everything. She listened, and after 30 minutes told me the time was up, but that she found it very interesting. I walked back to the central station, angry at myself for daring to dream that I would ever be allowed into such an university again after all my duck ups. I was ready to take my life. After my return, not being able to bear yet another failure, I walked up the stairs to the ticket vending machines. When my phone rang, it was the application center, offering me a spot in the program. For a moment, the earth stood still, and I broke down crying in disbelief. I spent the next weeks extremely anxious, wondering whether I would even manage to get that degree, thinking of my past failures and my GPA, but it turned out that the program structure, curriculum, etc. were exactly what I could ever have dreamt of, reigniting my passion for my field, getting me into an upward spiral of good internships, good grades and new friends. I regained my self confidence, and finally managed to get that depression under control. I also worked and studied up to 90h week to make sure that I would never fail myself again, but in the end, without having stumbled into the wrong room and consequently getting a second chance by the director, this would never have happened and I would probably not be here today. Edit. I am so very overwhelmed by all the compassion in the comments. I am really stunned. Thank you so much. I sincerely wish everybody struggling in similar situations strength and all the best. Good things do happen and they might be just around the corner. I was driving to a Grateful Dead concert in 1980 that was about 350 miles from home. I picked up a hitchhiker about halfway and it turned out that he was going to the same show. We were really early and he told me that he'd met some women from the town the show was in about two weeks previously and that they had his ticket. He asked me to take him to their house and that perhaps they could get me a ticket as well. I wasn't worried about scoring a ticket in 1980, it had been my experience that tickets were always available at the door, but I took him there anyway. We got to the house and that's when I discovered that the venue was only 2700 seats and was sold out. Luckily my new friends scored me a ticket. Edit. Almost forgot to mention that one of those women and I have been happily married for 34 years. TLDR. Scored a concert ticket. Oh yeah. I guess that's also how I met my wife. Girl I met in high school was sitting in a corner at lunch crying. I asked her what was wrong and she told me her mom doesn't feed her at home and refuses to give her lunch money for school. I shared my lunch with her from that day forward. 10 years later and we now have a family together. We couldn't be happier. This sounds corny and fake but I swear this happened. I moved away to college and was enrolled in one of those University 101 classes, where they teach you how to college effectively. Every freshman has to take it. First day of this class rolls around and this girl walks in and sits down. She's the most beautiful human being I've ever seen in my life. Of course she had a boyfriend and was way out of my league. So I just silently was in love with her for the whole semester. Fast forward to the summer before my senior year. I still think about this girl all the time. I had a dream about her one night. And the next day, one of her friends, who I know lives with her because I am a creep, invites me over to their house to play Edward 40 Hands. I had no interest in this girl who invited me over. And I thought that my dream girl was still in a relationship. But something told me that having this dream about her the night before was a sign that I should just go over there and get drunk. Apparently she had been single for a while and had also actually had a crush on me the whole time we were at school. And her friend invited me over to set us up. One dumb pickup line later and I had her number. We now are in our mid 20s living together with our puppy. And I think I'm going to pop the question in the soon. During my first year of university one night I opted to not go out to the pub with the guys from my dorm. During the night upstairs were throwing a birthday party and they knocked on the door asking if I wanted to join them. While there I met someone who was looking for a housemate for the following year. We ended up getting a place to stay and through her I met her friends. One of which happened to be seeing someone who introduced me to my current partner of 8 years that I'm soon to marry. If I had gone out that night or opted not to go to that birthday party I have no idea where I would be. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. 
Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.